Hello everyone, welcome to my second research vlog. In the background you see the great dome of MIT and this particular place is called Killian Court. That's where the convocation ceremony at MIT happens. Thousands of students get their degree each year from here but now you see it's mostly empty and only two ducks are passing around. We are also going to stroll around the campus and see inside of MIT. So let's get started. Today the weather was nice, so I thought I'm going to the campus just by walking. It will take me an hour or so. On the way, you'll find Boston University. Actually, there are many good universities around here. You have Boston College, University of Massachusetts, you have MIT, Harvard, and uh, Tufts University. This is Charles River, and on the background, you see Boston skyline, the city. I'll cross the bridge to go to the other side of the river. This is called Memorial Drive. It's, I really like this walk path. It's really very scenic during the summer and in the fall where you have leaves on the trees. Another thing I really like that people always running no matter what, the, what is the time of the day. They're always running and health conscious. I finally reached campus. Today I'll work in the laser lab. I will do some measurements with my sample that I prepared last week. So let's go there. This is my laser lab. It will be a little dark here. We have many sensitive light sensitive uh, equipments here. So we keep our light low. Looks like someone is working. Let's turn on the light a little bit. Stand back. There's science in this shit. <laughs> I find this really funny. We have two labs basically. This is in multiplo. This is ensemble lab, ultra fast lab. And we have another lab. Here. Um, this is single molecule lab. Maximum capacity nowadays is three because of the COVID situation, but I don't think anybody is here. It's Saturday. Let me turn on the light. This is my optical bench. Uh, you see a lot of mirrors around here. So what happens? Laser light will reflect, get reflected from this mirror and will be focused, will be directed towards the microscope. Uh, and where I'll put my samples. You see the blue box, that's where the laser will come from. I turn on the laser, uh, it's red laser. I'll sign this red light on my sample to do some measurements. Yeah, so basically the laser from that blue box will get reflected and finally will be directed towards this stage. This is a stage where I can control the position of the stage through a software. Uh, and the other side of the stage, you have the detector. This is really light sensitive. Actually, I don't need that much of light. So I'll block some of the light with a filter. It's called neutral density filter. My stage is ready. Now let's get the sample. Way to get the samples, you have you can find MIT library. Great ideas change the world. Yes, they do. MIT School of Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences. You might think that MIT is mainly a tech institute, but many other subjects, for example, linguistics, writing, science writing, uh, graduate global studies of languages comparative media studies, anthropologies, these subjects are also being taught. Welcome from the team. So we are entering the Hayden Library. So this is Hayden Library. Let's go there. Usually this place is really crowded, uh, but this is weekend and also the COVID restriction 
is there, so not many people are out here. This library is recently been was you know renovated, so it looks really fresh and beautiful. Looks like people working here. This is new and notable section. This library has big windows and you can see the Charles River, people running on the Memorial Drive and beautiful Boston skyline. If you need to do some deep thinking or require some concentration during writing, you can come here. This is the top view. Let's explore a little bit further. This is the first time I'm coming to this library after the renovation. Quite reading room. I think it's not a good idea to enter this room without purpose of reading. So I'm going back to the lab. On my way to the lab, I found this poster about Abdul Latib Jamil Fuverty Action Lab, or commonly known as JPL. So this is the organization Ovijit Banerjee SRW and Sendil Mullainathan founded in 2003. I am here at MIT for around three years and I never seen their office. So I decided to go there and see their office. So this is building E19 of MIT. Here it should be located, JPL's office. I think this one. Unfortunately, I do not have uh, do not have access to this office, so I cannot show you what's inside there. Um, but this is the office of the Nobel laureate uh, Esther W and Ovijit Banerjee's uh, organizations, JPL. What JPL does, actually, uh, so as you know, many governments, NGOs, and philanthropists working on to to reduce the world poverty but people don't know what policy works and if works why it works so these organizations um, and uh, there are many branches around the world they study this and um, they study something called randomized evaluations and with these kind of evaluation tools they try to gather information and uh, and try to pursue different government and NGOs to action uh, to take action on these lines uh, in order to reduce poverty. I think this is really impactful work, and they rightly awarded Nobel Prize in 2019. So I came back to the lab to do some single molecule experiments. Um, these experiments takes long time, so. Someday I'll talk more about this. I'm going home. Uh, I'll catch a train. This is Kendall Square Station at MIT. But today I have to go to the grocery stores to buy some vegetables. So this is the grocery store at um, Davis Square. Uh, this is a Bang this is a Bangladeshi store, but we found we you have many Indian vegetables. So this is Karela, so I need to buy some other vegetables. Okra, masoor dal. I think I have most of the stuffs that I needed. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. See you next week in another video. Bye bye.